KMR, Kyle Mohan Racing. We're hanging out. It's time to talk rotaries. That's what we do around here. I've got this beautiful billet ink peripheral port 13B, and we're going to talk about it right now. This is a Kyle Mohan Racing Tech Talk. We're going to talk a little bit about this beautiful build. So this is a very unique motor. It's a billet ink uh, side plates. So those are the side plates uh, from Australia. Uh, very strong, lightweight, and they have removable inserts. So they're still in aluminum housing with a steel cast alloy insert. So basically modular removable face. I think that's really unique. It's really neat. Um, and it does allow for replaceability of sectional components in the rotary industry that really hadn't been available before. It's also a peripheral port. This is going to be a boosted motor, so it's a little unique. We had Chip Ursu partner on this. Uh, Wiggins style clamping to ensure a tight seal. We actually moved the port timing up, and although it looks big internally, it's narrowed down to a specific size, and the port timing is very specific for boost applications. They're also screwed in metal to metal with a metal plug insert, ensuring long-term reliability. This is all really new, neat stuff to the rotary industry being combined into a very custom motor. As you can see, it's also been designed with a auxiliary mount. This is very specific to this build or these specific motors. I built two like this. And it's something that can really only be done as of recent in the rotary industry as we've seen manufacturers like Billet Inc. build aluminum billet components based off of the rotary Mazda blocks allowing us to change their design. So this is just fantastic. Here we have a lighter, stronger, uh, different port timing motor than could have ever really been done in the past. I just got to thank all the people who did this. You know, Mazda Tricks, uh, Billet Inc., Chip Ursu. We've got a full function engineering reluctor and a uh, wheel setup on here and modified racing beat front pulley. And then this right here is now very rare, the Mazda factory dry sump setup. This did come apart. We ended up WPCing specific components. I did a little porting and polishing to ensure the best flow possible. I run those same front covers on all of my race motors. Um, although they're hard to come by these days, they perform fantastic. So internally, Mazda Tricks handled all of our lightning. I did the side cutting personally, and Chip Ursu did the lightning. Um, High-speed balanced, side cut rotors, um, a lot of tried and true internal work that created the blueprinting for the specs that we're running in this setup. Uh, we had a horsepower goal of the four to 500 horsepower range with reliability in mind. So therefore the balancing, uh, narrowing of those ser series six rotors and lightning all correspond with our horsepower and longevity goals. Um, we are still using a, uh, a series four uh, OE water pump setup. Um, we'll see how this goes. I think it's a very reliable setup, belt driven. It cuts down on auxiliary electronic components. Um, but there's always the option to go with electric water pump if somebody were so inclined. It's really nice. Mazda dry sump setups allow for a very flat bottom so you don't end up with a lot of sump area. And uh, with this particular wheel reluctor setup, everything's very tightly packaged, including your, your oil pump setup, where you'll be able to mount an auxiliary uh, dry sump tank somewhere else uh, in the application. We did upgrade uh, the steel studs, although it did come with half inch alloy studs. We ended up uh, having Billet Ink create a custom set that was lighter weight. So these are actually titanium. Um, and then as far as all of our O-rings, 
Um, we ended up using Teflon encapsulated water O-ring seals for their higher temperature pressure ratings. Um, and all of our other components are either OEM or Viton supplied by uh, the said manufacturers that have worked with us on this project. Um, I'm just really happy to be a part of this build. It took a long time, longer than expected. Um, but when you're doing something custom, when you're doing something unique, and in this case, we were actually doing two identical motors, um, you know, I learned a lot. And even some of the manufacturers I work with, uh, I feel learned a lot. And so this is definitely something that could be repeated, although I think I would definitely estimate a longer turnaround time. And uh, I'm very grateful for the, uh, the uh, owner of this, uh, this project who has uh, been accepting of how long this has took. But uh, in the end, I am personally very happy with it. Everything uh, came out the way I wanted um, and the time spent was to ensure the best possible fitment and results of all of the components used here. And, uh, as I stand here and look at it, all I can say is just, again, thanks for everybody involved. If anybody has questions, let me know. Um, we're running ceramic two millimeter seals. I tolerance all of the side seals myself, uh, factory Mazda speed racing tolerance. Our bearings are three window racing beat uh, front and rear everything's been wpc treated the rotors the shaft the bearings um there's just a lot of small attention to detail and work that went into this beautiful billet peripheral port kmr built 13b so we'll wrap this uh, little tech talk up and make sure to stay tuned as we will have a build video coming out on this soon. And you'll be able to see a little bit of the assembly process that went into this and uh, what these billet builds are all about. Stronger oil galleries, eliminating some of the fatigue and issues that were related to cast iron blocks. All right. There we go. Like I always say, I got to wrap this up. I can talk rotaries all day. I'm going to wrap on out of here. And until next time, follow KMR and let us know what you would like us to put up on this rotary-oriented KMR engine channel. And I do some drifting and road racing and like to have fun too. All right, that's it. Wrap, 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 wrap. Out of here.